Hey my cool cats and kittens, this is Carol Baskin here. Welcome to Ben Husswaite's Lockdown Lessons. <sighs> what a beautiful day we've got today. So um, what I'm going to go over today is training V practice. What, um, what are the differences and what are we looking to get out of each one? So my the way I shoot was developed during training. It was a training exercise. It was perfected during practice. That's the key elements to what we're gonna do. So as I said, with the planning for a major event, so if I'm, if I'm planning for a major event, I'm looking for what I'm gonna do as I spoke about on my last video. So from there, I will plan my training for two weeks and then my practice for two weeks. So I'll probably try and do two weeks of training and two weeks of practice. Practice is the last thing I do before I leave for an event. So with training, training is doing something that you haven't done. Training is missing. That's what you're going to be there for. You're going to go to a, with a purpose. As I spoke about on previous videos, shooting different methods, different hold points, trying different, basically trying different things until you can tick off the one that you feel that you're going to be most successful with. Training is um, quite a few cartridges, but it's also a lot of note taking. You're taking a lot of notes. So, you know, we've got a. Um, let's just say we've got a quartering bird here. OK, so we're going to shoot this quartering bird just here. Here's the shooting position. Here is, is the target. So we've struggled on it and we know where we're going is going to throw a lot of them. So what I would be doing, I'd say, right, I'm going to shoot the first six or seven with a swing through method. So I'm going to go into swing through. That could be more shots than most methods because I can dictate how far I start behind it. So I'm going to start six inches, 12 inches, 18 inches behind the bird before I transfer through. I'll have some success. Might, might be um, highly successful when we make our mind up. We might try and do it from holding further out. So this is training. We're doing things that we don't normally do in a competition. Um, then I may go into pull away. Now, I would can tell you already, pull away is not going to work on this target. But I'd still be doing, looking at it, trying to find something new. Could I make it work if I change one of the aspects of it? I then go into maintain lead. Don't ever, ever want to shoot maintain lead. But as I said to you before, we may have to shoot maintain lead. So, again, I'm learning that. Once I take my notes, right, from six inches behind... You know, I felt quite smooth um, from 12 inches behind. Didn't feel great, but I had the most success. Now, that's more important than the smooth. This is a success-based sport. This is either kills or losses. There's no points for looking or feeling good. 18 inches felt all wrong, and we didn't have success with it. Pull away didn't work, and maintained lead didn't work. So I take my notes. Six inches felt smooth. 12 inches give me the most success. And 18 inches is just zero. We're going to scratch that from the beginning. So I'm going to take that into my notes and date it. So that's that target ticked off. That's a training day. Now I move on to my next target. That could be a... I've been struggling with battoos. So I, I, I've got a batu there. And I shoot it from five different positions. That's going to be five different sets of notes. So as a quartering batu, I like to start 18 inches behind it. When it's an incoming batu, I like to start six inches behind it. When I'm at number three, which is 90 degrees, I like to pull away. But I'm gonna. This is this is me having already done my training. You're gonna go out there, do your training, take your notes. This is two. This is a month out from an event. This is a month out from the event that your long term or me or or um. You know, lifetime goal is based around. So you take your notes. So then I've got number one. I've got 18 inches with swing through. Number two, I'm sticking with the same method, 18 inches of swing through. Number three, pull away. Number four, pull away. And number five, six inches of swing through. So I've got my set of notes. I've got things I can go over. They're going round the system. So I keep doing this for as much as my budget allows me to train. Training is different, remember. We'll get to that in a minute. Once I've got all my notes over the two weeks, I formulate them, I collate them, I put them all together. Now comes practice day, two weeks before an event. Now I've got to make all of these 
100% dialed in. These are going to become perfect. That's practice. Practice is no longer making decisions. I've made my choices. So I'm going to go out there and I'm going to start going back over my notes and make these moves perfect. Now I'm going to be changing the tiniest, tiniest fragments of them to make them feel more successful. So delivering the 18 inches, how am I going to get more successful at that? I've got my hold points. I know my hold points were halfway. So practice is now no more changes. There is no more things you are going to change. You are going to go in there with this plan now and you are going to make these moves highly, highly um, pinpoint accurate. So your notes must go to your practice days. But I, what I tend to do is recollate them so I'm not going over, oh, but what about that one? I, I just want the success rate. So my targets that I'm practicing today are the Batu and the Quartering Bird. So there it. I don't take my notes I've read them down the positives of how I am going to shoot them. And that's practice. So now it's just literally gauging how difficult that target is. So on a 1 to 10 sliding scale, if it's a 1, it's easy. I've got to be hitting 10 out of 10. If it's a 10 and I think I can hit 7, then I'm going to be hitting 7 out of 10. And I'm just going to practice and practice and practice. With no changes to my um, to my routine on how I'm shooting them trying to get a little bit more. So that would probably lead me into my first week of practice. My second week of practice, now this is the week before the event, I start to pull everything together, whether it's fit ass or sporting. So far, I would only been shooting at singles. They'd have been all single targets. Now it's time to practice for the event, to get event ready and mindset strong. So I'm probably looking, if it's fit ass, I'll be shooting singles and doubles. If it was sporting, I'd be shooting all doubles coming off one bird can making sure I can hit my method that I've um, chosen in my training days when it's the report bird as well. So I really start to get ready. Now, my the way I do it is three days before the event is the last time I fire the gun. That's it. I need the downtime. I'm still working visually, taking my notes at home and getting my hydration and nutrition ready before we start to make the moves and get to the event, whether it's abroad or on home soil. So hopefully that could just give you a few ideas on training and practice and how they're very, very different things. Training is missing. Practice is perfection. Yeah, actually trying to get ready for the event. So any questions on that, please, please fire them over. That's the difference with me. That's how I train for an event. Split it into a month segment, two weeks of practice, two weeks of training. Thank you. Take care.